How can you be sure that the growth you are experiencing in this workshop will remain with you or even grow after you have left the workshop? Well, this tool that I'm going to give you is one that I have found very strong in my life. So get out your notebook and pens and be ready to write these things down. <clears throat> yeah, you have to be sure and get your notebook out, okay? Thank you. All right, well, this is something that we have found very powerful to help a person continue growth in their life. And we call it the three-strand cord. Ecclesiastes 4.12 talks about this cord. It says a cord of three strands is not easily broken. And so we're going to have you wrap your strands together in your life. And what are those strands? One of those strands we get from Matthew where Jesus was being tempted by Satan. Remember that he had been baptized and was sent out into the wilderness for 40 days. He didn't eat or drink. Afterwards, Satan tempted him. How did Jesus resist him? By using the word of God. He used Deuteronomy 3 and Deuteronomy 6 to, to totally shatter the temptation in each case. And you and I can use the word of God to shatter Satan's temptations against us. So, what is the first strand in this three-strand cord? God's, God's word. Works. Yes, the word of God. That's true. And then another strand in this cord is from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. King Jehoshaphat has been uh, uh, aware that three different armies are coming against him. And he says, God, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm paraphrasing. <clears throat> and his prophet, Nathan, comes to him and says, you're not going to have to do anything. God's going to fight this battle. What you need to do is to have your musicians go in front of your army when you go out to meet them. And Jehoshaphat believed God. So the musicians went out in front of the army. And scripture says that as they began worshiping, God sent the ambushments against the enemy and totally defeated them. You and I can experience that power in praise in worship. And so praise is another strand in this three-strand cord. So what are the first two strands? God. God's Word. God's Word. Praise. praise. And praise, yes. And if I am consistently doing those things, God will help me be in the proper attitude for the growth that I need to continue experiencing. And then the third element, the third strand for this, I take from Daniel chapter 3. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are well known as Rakshak and Benny these days. And they together were able to resist extreme pressure to bow down to an idol, to do something that was not what God wanted. You and I also need to have friends, comrades, people of like mind and heart to strengthen us when temptation comes. For Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, it was that they were going to be killed instantly if they didn't bow down. And they said to the king, O king, know this, that our God is able to save us from the fiery furnace and from your hand, but even if he doesn't, we will not bow down. And you and I can have that same determination of resistance. Yes, God will deliver us, but even if he doesn't, we're going to obey God no matter what, and our friends can help us do it. So I tell you that there are three strands that are really important to wrap together in my life. What are they? God's, God's Word. God's Word. Praise. Praise. Fellowship. fellowship. And fellows in a ship. Okay, we didn't quite say it the right way. Yes, that we are together traveling as people of one heart and mind encouraging, challenging, strengthen each other so that we will continue growing from this point on in our lives.